when we talk in about here, all right, inner game. Okay. Now, this is self esteem, self love, and overall mental health. Okay. This is the number one uh, backbone that all you guys should be focusing on as men. All right? Self-esteem, self-love, and overall mental health, okay? When I mean overall mental health, okay? No anxiety. No depression. Dude, they have like a million fucking pop-ups on this goddamn website. Miro.com. Fuck you guys, all right? Like, I get it. Let me just write for free, for fuck's sake. No anxiety, no depression, okay? This is inner game. The majority of guys who have inner game problems usually have this... Anxiety. Anxiety is extremely prevalent in our societies nowadays and or depression. What's funny is, though, these here, they are actually linked. Anxiety and depression are linked, okay? Uh, Christian Martin says, from experience, if you don't fix your inner game, a woman will eventually expose that for you. It's true. It's true. But they are not, bro, these girls... As the pot calling the kettle black, okay? These girls are rife, rife with fucking mental problems, bro. Right? There is, they, they are, they are, they are plagued with a copious amount of mental problems. So don't, don't worry about them. We're talking about men right now. We're talking about you boys here, okay? So here's the deal. Self-esteem and self-love, right? When you don't have self-esteem and you don't have self-love, right? Low levels equal tolerating shitty women via poor boundaries. Okay? If you don't have good boundaries, you're going to tolerate bad behavior from a woman. If you don't have good self-esteem, you're not going to tell your woman when she's doing something you don't like. You're going to tolerate it. And we tolerate pretty women, their behavior typically amplifies. They get worse and worse and worse. In addition to that, you're sitting around in a situation that is not good for you. Okay? And then the relationship becomes more of like a of a parasitic kind of nature. You know what I mean? That's not something you want to be dealing with at all, okay? One of the best feelings in the world is to walk away from a shitty woman. I'm telling you, it is one of the best feelings in the entire fucking planet, okay? If a woman is not serving you well, she's not doing her job, okay? Even, even if she did her job at the beginning, but she starts to slack and she doesn't do her job, I mean, then right there... That's just the beginning of a lot of trouble if you don't fucking nip that in the bud. All right? A massive amount of trouble. You absolutely have to fucking be able to tell a woman to fuck off or to tell her, don't do this shit. I don't like it. You know what I mean? 
Because if you don't tell them that and you don't stick up for yourself, then they're just going to walk all over you. You're going to be miserable. And because you're being miserable, you're fucking in a situation that is not benefiting you and benefiting her. The the balance of the relationship is going to go off. She's going to feel you're not being a man. You're not leading her. You're kind of like being a pussy. You're not telling her, hey, don't fucking do this. She's going to crave real masculinity, and it's either going to be a situation where she ends up leaving you, ends up cheating on you, or cheats on you and still uses you for other things, financial means or whatever, okay? So you really got to have the ability to, <clears throat> as King Dre would say, check a bitch, right? Yeah, you got to be able to call them out on their bad behavior, and that's because you got to maintain frame. Because <clears throat> frame is like this. Okay. Here's your relationship, okay? And these are your boundaries, okay? Oh, God, that's bad. Let me, there's the back button. Hold on, let me try that again. I want to write this clearly, okay? Okay, so here's your boundaries. And see, women are emotional creatures. And they forget things really quickly, right? So if you say you got to do this and stay within these boundaries, eventually they're going to go up to the wall and hit the, hit the boundaries. And some of them are going to come out, right? And it's up to you to bring them back in and be like, yo, that's not okay. Don't fucking do this. And your whole life, this is what they do. Right? And the weaker you are with your boundaries, the more she's just going to stray away, okay? And you don't want to deal with that. Eventually, you want to have her set up to the point where she's going like, okay, well, boop, oh, I made a mistake there, boop, come back there, okay, boop, come back there, boop, boop, and, you know, coming back to it, all right? That is boundaries in relationship 101. You want to have them structured in a way that she knows what's okay and what's not okay with you particularly. And if a woman is not okay with following your boundaries, with following your, following your rules, you have to get rid of her because it's only going to make you miserable, okay? It's only going to make you miserable. And you also have to make sure to know that she's not faking it. Because a lot of these girls will fake it. They'll pretend that there's something that they're not, right? And then next thing you know, you put a ring on her, you get married, and she completely changes who she is, right? I mean, how many times have we seen girls do the old bait and switch, right? I mean, tons. Tons and tons and tons. How many of you have seen a man being dragged around and treated like shit by his woman, right? Put one in the chat if you've seen that happen. We all know. I know we're going to see a bunch of ones. And the reason is because it's twofold. The guy has no self-esteem and no self-love. He doesn't love himself enough to tell his bitch, hey, don't do that shit. Okay? Don't do that. Bunch of ones coming in the chat there. Bunch of ones. No self-esteem, no self-love is going to cause you to, to, to deal with a couple of problems, right? No self-esteem is going to make you feel like, well, I can't get another woman, right? Because I'm not good enough. And therefore, I must stay with this. If a woman violates you and violates your boundaries over and over and over again, you have to realize eventually some women are not able to follow your particular set of boundaries. Now, you have to be, you have to be reasonable, right? You have to think to yourself, are my boundaries hyper extreme? Okay. For me, for example, if I'm dating a girl, no guy friends. Tough shit. You call me insecure, cool. You can call me insecure and you could be single. Go find yourself that super secure guy because it ain't me. You can call me insecure, but at the end of the day, 
Guy friends don't fucking exist. Guy friends want to fuck the girl that they are friends with. The women are just delusional about that. They don't want to accept the reality. Okay? My life falls... Women fall into three categories in my life. Women I want to fuck. And women I have fucked. And number three, female family members. Who I will never, ever, ever even think of that disgusting ass shit. So that's it. You're one of three. And chances are you're one of two if you're in my life. Okay? Period. And I know other guys. Dudes are dogs. We all are. Come on. We're all... Come on. If you're a dog, put a dog emoji in the chat. I know I am. All right? I'm trying to fuck. I don't give a shit about your dreams. I don't give a shit about your aspirations. I don't care what college you went to. I don't care what your favorite color is. I will listen to all these dumb shits if you think I'm I'm your male friend. But in reality is, all I'm doing is collecting data so I can seduce you and have sex with you. That's it. That is it. It is what it is. Woof, woof, baby. Okay? I am, am man enough and strong enough and bold enough to admit that. Okay? Period. Majority of guys, they think the same way, but they're weasels. They're little weasels, and they hide in the waiting for them to make their opportunity, for their opportunity to pre- present itself. You know what I mean? So for me, a boundary, no guy friends. Guy friend texting you? What the fuck are you texting them back for? What are you entertaining this shit for? High school friend? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. That's my boundary. Bunch of guy coworkers want to go out and have drinks. You, yeah, you can do that, but you can't be my girlfriend if you do. Just that simple. I don't fuck around. And if you don't like it, fuck off. Fuck right off. Please clearly and concisely fuck off out of my life so I can find your replacement. Because I'm not bringing unnecessary stress into my life via you and your stupid decisions because it's only going to affect me negatively. And I'm, as the leader in the relationship, as the man, I'm going to have to be the one to remedy this situation. So you act right in the first place. Don't bring me stress. Don't bring me fucking trouble. And then you could be my girlfriend. These are my rules. And if you don't like them, leave. Sayonara. Avidase. Adios. Okay? Goodbye in Australian. (laughs) To my brother out there who sent me the Australian donation, right? It is what it is. Because what you can't do for me, the next woman will. Because, you know, chicks like that, when they when don't, they don't, when, here's the thing, right? Every girl you date is going to make you realize what you like and what you don't like. And you can either tell the girl, hey, I don't like you doing this. You've got to change. And if she doesn't change after some time, then you have to realize she's incapable of change. So you either have to put up with that and reestablish new boundaries mentally, if you're okay with that, or get rid of her. That's it. Joel says, John, what are your thoughts on these delusional women that want to be friends after ending things on a romantic level? No, I have like, why do you want to? Because you got to put the shoe on the other foot. It, is she going to be OK with you being friends with your ex-girlfriend? The answer is no. So why should you be OK and keeping in touch with all your ex-dude friends? I'll tell you why. Because she's a slut. OK, if she's constantly keeping in touch with exes, that means she is going to have sex with them once in a while when they come around period guys you have to realize the 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 vast majority now of women these days are sluts the vast majority of them good girls are the rare things back in the day it was the opposite a couple of outlier girls were sluts and majority women were good women now they're all sluts 
a very, very, very small percentage of them are good. So when you allow sluts into your life and you allow women with slut behaviors into your life, you're just, you're making an investment in problems that are going to happen down the road. That's slut behavior. That's not good girlfriend behavior. Okay. I, why should, why should you like, why do I want you to be in touch with a dude that used to fuck? Like, what is, what is the benefit of me and you building a life moving forward? And you're still keeping in touch with some fucking dude you used to fuck. Like what benefit is this dude bringing to your life that I can't do? 